Hey guys, my name is Confident. Welcome to the 24 minute lesson except where I will be sharing with you some ideas, some methods, some strategies or concepts that you can incorporate as you prepare for your final exams, be it you're studying for your mathematics N1, your N2 or your N3. Now, if these videos are handy and you are benefiting from them, you can actually press the like button or if you've got some ideas, you can leave some comments below. If you also like to be notified of extra videos every time we post them, you can subscribe to our channel and then you'll get some notification every time there are new videos. And also, if you are interested in some of our resources, be it test books and some videos, you can check this at the end of this video. We will send you some information. Now, let's check this concept out. I thought of sharing with you um, the question paper that was written in it was supposed to be written in um in april 2020 but because of uh, the coronavirus and this paper was ended up being written in july 2020 so i just took a question that i um, i thought uh the examiners were kind of um a little bit more uh tricky and i thought of let me show you some strategies on how you could have solved these questions so there are about five questions that i selected from this question paper so i'll encourage you to check them out now let us start with this question is question 1.1.3 of the question paper that was written uh, and this question is on the topic of exponents now it says simplify the following exponents without the use of a calculator so if they can pick up that you use the calculator they are going to penalize you and the mark allocation to that paper it was three marks and i felt like i think you can actually get all these marks if you become careful of a few things whereby the examiners were trying to trick you now let us check check this question out it says you're supposed to simplify and as you can see uh you're given a few things here uh, that i wanted you to take note of the first part it is this sign with a four and remember this sign with a four is the same way of writing it like this and then you say one over four so that is the first part that i wanted to um, show there and the second one it is just this sign and there is no number but you must know that in there is a hidden two that is a square root the top one is a fourth root and this one is a square root and what actually it means is you must put a bracket and say one over two so that was the main part that was um interesting there and the next thing that you should have done it was for you to simplify 16 uh if you could i have recognized that 16 if you check with your calculator uh 16 is same as two to the exponent i think of four yes that is 16 and check of eight and check 81 there 81 is um in exponent form is 3 to the exponent let's try 4 that is 81 so you can see that 16 was 2 to the exponent 4 and 81 was 3 to the exponent 4 the hint that i why did i choose uh 3 to the exponent 4 you see i've got a 1 over 3 there and it somehow will deal with that particular three remember these questions the way they are given by the examiners it is to, um, to simplify in a simpler way not to complicate it now if i can write this then it will become um remember the fourth root now you put a bracket and you will have 16 actually i can actually um Instead of writing the 16 remember i said it's 2 to the power 4 so i can write 2 to the power 4 x to the power of 4 y to the power of 8 and then i put my bracket and say 1 over 4 times 1 over 3 again i put my bracket remember 81 i say it is 3 to the power of 4 x to the power of 2 y to the power of 6 and then after that it is to the power of 1 over 2 so that is the first part 
that he should have done. Now this particular power, 1 over 4, it multiplies each and every power inside, same as 1 over 2 multiplies each and every power inside, such that you are now going to have 2 to the power 4, and then times, you see, you are multiplying that by 1 over 4, and then you also have x to the power, you can put a dot there, x to the power 4 times again this is more like i'm distributing um four inside it's more like i'm expanding and then times y to the power of eight times again you can see how the four is uh, affecting that and then you multiply by one over three you do the same thing um can put a times there it is three to the power four times now you can see it's one over two that is being distributed and then times or dot x to the power of two and then times one over f one over two and then the last one will be y to the power of six and then is times one over two so that is the other part this is not um, a difficult thing it is taken from this um, law of exponents to say if you are given x to the power a and then in here you have got a b this is same as x to the power of a times b but sometimes you can be given x to the power of a and y to the power of a then that can be everything to the power of b so it will be x to the power of a times b and y to the power of a times b so you can see that you can distribute uh, this particular b um, inside so with that in mind it means you can then simplify whereby you are cancelling the there you cancel four and four together one and then it, it will be called to 2 to the power of 1 dot and then again you cancel the 4 there to have x to the power of 1 dot the 4 will cancel the a to get it 2 so you'll have y to the power of 2 times 1 over 3 dot and then i mean it's a dot or times the 2 will cancel the 4 to remain with a 3 squared it's a 3 squared there. So this is now a uh, simple algebra now that you are doing. Uh, dot 2 there. It's x to the power of 1. And dot 2 into 6 is y to the power of 3. So you can see what you are having. Now you can further collect um, uh, like terms. Okay, you have got 2 to the power 1 times x to the power 1. So we have uh, dealt with x there. But I, I have another x to the power 1 there. So it will be times x to the power of 1 times y to the power of 2. And I have another y to the power of 3 there. And then times. Now you can see 1 over 3 is same as 1 over 3 times 3 squared remember is 3 times 3 because there are 2 so that you cancel 1 uh, when you cancel 1 you can use the laws of exponents um, actually let me use the law of exponents there so that uh, they don't somehow penalize remember 1 over 3 is same as 3 to the power negative 1 times 3 to the power of 2. That is another way of trying to strictly use the laws of exponents. So now what you have, you are going to use um, this particular law. This law says if you are given x to the power of m plus, I mean, times, times x to the power of n is equal to so if the bases are the same i've got an x and the x and i've got a multiplication sign it says i must write the x and 
add the exponents so it to be m plus n so you see that so if i'm going to use this particular law i will have then uh 2 to the power of 1 since it's the only 2 times x to the power of same basis so it's 1 plus 1 times y to the power of same basis is 2 plus 3 and then times 3 to the power same basis minus 1 plus 2 so you see uh what's happening i'm using this particular law that i'm just taking out and then it's a matter of simplifying to say this becomes i'll just take i mean 2 to the power of 1 is 2 times x to the power of 2 because 1 plus 2 is 2 1 plus 1 is 2 times y to the power of 5 times 3 to the power of 1 so if i can uh, multiply in this case the number i can multiply 2 times 3 i will get 6 x squared y to the power of 5 so i thought um uh, this can be something that um can be uh you can use for your uh as a hint or tip on how you could have solved this question i hope this was of benefit to you thank you i hope the video that you just watched was of benefit to you and as i said if you benefited from the video you can press the like button or you can leave us a comment below and if you want to be notified of these videos you can always uh, subscribe to our channel now if you want the full curriculum of this mathematics if you're studying for mathematics n1 n2 or n3 and you want the test book as well as the videos we have a full um, curriculum of the mathematics n1 n2 n3 as well as the accompanying videos we also have videos of the previous question papers the latest papers that were written in video form these question papers can assist you as you prepare for your exams we also have pdf version of the previous question papers that were that were written since 2014 until now and if you want them you can check all the information from our website and trust me these will become very handy to you uh, we sell them at a very discounted prices and it is worth the try thank you